President Donald Trump today walked back controversial comments that he made yesterday, saying he misspoke when he expressed doubts that Russia had meddled in the 2016 elections. The comments continue to create a storm of criticism for members of both parties. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich is a strong Trump supporter. He called the president's remarks the worst mistake of his presidency. Democratic Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer blasted the president, saying he took the word of the KGB over the men and women of the CIA. Esme Murphy's been tracking reaction from Minnesota political leaders where there are strong feelings on both sides, Esme. That's right, Frank. Minnesota political leaders are mirroring the divide at the national level with some, but not all, Republicans criticizing the president even after he walked back his statements today. Democrats as a whole are strongly condemning the president for his initial comments, indicating he did not believe the findings of U.S. intelligence. Intelligence agencies. Republican Congressman Eric Paulson offered a scathing assessment on Twitter, writing President Trump's performance in Helsinki was embarrassing. An American president taking the side of a Russian dictator over American intelligence agencies is dangerous. Paulson is also not convinced by the president's comments today that he misspoke. Bottom line is, Russia's not our ally. They're an adversary. They do need to be confronted over their hostile actions. The Minnesota Republican Party, however, issued a statement supporting the president. And so did Republican State Representative Jim Newberger, who is running against Senator Amy Klobuchar. To me, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a, um, um, a, a D.C.-centered media feeding frenzy. I think overall he's doing a good job, and he has my support. Senator Klobuchar offered a strong critique. And when America is the leader of the free world, that means our president, and that means our president has to stand up not just for American democracies, but democracies across the world. And Democratic Congressman Tim Walz, who's running for governor, challenged Republican candidates for governor to weigh in. If you're asking to be the, uh, the chief executive of this state, there's a responsibility of leadership to clearly articulate this nation's national security is at risk, and the president did nothing to alleviate that. So. Now, we did reach out to the two major Republicans in the race for governor, former Governor Tim Pawlenty and Hennepin County Commissioner Jeff Johnson, and did not hear back. There is also silence from two other Minnesota Republican members of Congress, Tom Emmer and Jason Lewis, both strong Trump supporters. We reached out to them and also did not hear back. All right. Thanks for trying, Esme.